dear students in this video we are going to find the root of a function fx x to the power 4 minus x minus 10 equals to 0 using bisection method fx is Now let us find the interval starting from 0 it is minus 10 for x equals to 0 This is also minus 10. For f2 it is 4. So look, for f1 the functional value is less than 0 and for f2 the value is 4 which is greater than 0 they are of opposite sides then there exists a root in between one and two so let us take the first approximation as x1 which is according to bisection method 1 plus 2 by 2 that is 1.5 now find the functional value at x1 that is f of 1.5 that is 1.5 power 4 minus 1.5 minus 10 so let me find it in my calculator. This is minus 6.4375. So which is less than 0? Now look uh, for 1 it is minus 10 which is less than 0 and for 1.5 also it is less than 0. So let us discard this 1 and take the point 1.5. If we draw a number line and if we take this as 1 and this is 2, then the middle point is 1.5. So for 1 it is less than 0 and for 1.5 it is less than 0 and for 2 it is positive. So now the interval is shrinked and the root lies in between 1.5 to 2. So next approximation is x2. X2 is now 1.5 instead of 1 plus 2 by 2 and this is 3.5 by 2. So this is 1.75. Now let us find at 1.75 the functional value. Let me find in my calculator. Point 
1.75 minus 10 which is equals to minus 2.37109 let me take up to 3 decimal places that is minus 2 point or 2 decimal places 3 7 so this is also negative the third approximation is 1.75 plus 2 divided by 2 so it is 3.75 by 2 which is 1.8775 Now let us find the functional value at 1.875 Let me find in the calculator. I am using this calculator. This is point four eight four, which is positive, which is positive. And so now look uh, in this interval here. I think one point here it is one point seven five, and in the middle one point eight seven five. So now here it is positive, so we may discard 2 and the root lies in between 1.75 and 1.875. So the fourth approximation is 1.75 plus 1.875 by 2. This is one point eight zero Okay, let us take up to two decimal places. So at one point eight zero the functional value is This 
is minus 1.3024 which is less than 0. Therefore the root lies between One point eight and one point eight seven five. So x five is one point eight plus one point eight seven Three point six seven five point two. One point eight three seven five. Now let us find for. One point eight three seven five. The functional value is. Let us take round of value. This is negative. Which is less than 0. So the next approximation is. The root lies between. 1.84. And 1.875. Three point seven one five. Division two is one point eight five seven five. So by round off, it is one point eight six. Now at one point eight six. The functional value is Which is positive point one zero eight eight. So the root lies between one point eight four and one point eight six. Because at 1.84 this is negative and at 1.86 that is positive.
So functional value at one point eight five. which is negative now the root lies between 1.85 and 1.86 so it is uh, 1.855 which is approximately 1.86 therefore the required root is 1.86